Okay, let's have a chat about the index of hydrogen deficiency and how we measure like the degree of unsaturation in a compound. You should be able to do this from both uh, a structure like this or its formula like this. So there's like two different like schools of thought for how you're going to measure it. So if we're looking at the structure like this, then you're literally just counting like the number of degrees of unsaturation. So for every double bond, that's one degree. If it's a triple bond, that's two degrees. You can find a bunch of resources online that tell you about this. If you've got a ring, then that's one degree. Um, if you've got a benzene ring, then that's four degrees, because in a benzene ring, then you have one, two, three. It's kind of like three double bonds-ish, and a ring, so you've got four overall. Um, so all we're doing is adding these together. So looking at this structure here, after we look at some examples, it'll make a lot more sense. Um, this one here has got one double bond, so I'm expecting the IHD to equal one. So it's pretty easy if I look at the structure of this uh, butanoic acid. Um, but if you get given the uh, formula, then sometimes it can be a bit more tricky to like visualize what's going on. Um, and so the IB like likes people to use this formula here, which I genuinely had to Google because I don't remember it this way, but I'm going to go with it for now. Um, and then I'll show you a different way to think about it. So what they're doing is they're saying that you've got two times the number of carbons, which in this case is the eight plus two, plus the number of nitrogens, which we don't have any, and then we're going to do oh, minus the amount of hydrogens, which is eight. X is a halogen. We don't have any of those, so I'm kind of ignoring it. And then we're going to divide the whole thing by two. So four times two is eight, uh, plus two is 10, minus eight is, this gives me two over two, which gives you one overall. So this is definitely giving me the same answer as like from the structure. But let me show you a different way to think about this for if you've got like, if you struggle to remember formulae like I do, this might make a bit more sense to you, but let's have a look. So what I would do instead is I have this like process where it's like thinking about how many degrees of unsaturation it's missing. So the process goes like this remove all the oxygens. <laughs> so the reason we start here is like, nobody cares about the oxygens, let's just get rid of them um, because they're not affecting your IHD at all. So we're gonna take all the oxygens away. We're gonna follow the example we just did again um, using this process. So I'm gonna remove the oxygens. Turn all the halogens into hydrogens because essentially like a halogen behaves in the same way as a hydrogen, like it only forms one covalent bond. And then the weird part is that if you have nitrogens, we're going to remove them. But for every nitrogen, you also remove one hydrogen. So if you're looking at the formula, you can see how this kind of works the same way. But like it's just a different way of thinking about it. So when we've got to this point here, what we've essentially got is you've turned it into a hydrocarbon. You should only have um, carbons and hydrogens left at this point in the process. Um, and then all I'm doing is calculating how many H2s I need for it to form the saturated alkane. So if I've got a saturated alkane with four carbons, then 2N plus 2 means that I should have H10. So this means that to balance that equation, I need one H2, and that means that my IHD is one. I know this is kind of simple for this one, but hopefully with the others, you'll see why actually this is kind of an easier process. Let's have a look at another example. So this is um, guanine. Uh, I'm going to do it from the structure first, just to practice that um, like we talked about. So here you can see I've got two rings. So I've already got two from the rings and then I'm going to count the double bonds. So I've got one, two, three, four. So I'm expecting my IHD to be six overall. Okay. It's nice and easy when they give you the structure. It's less easy when they don't. <laughs> so here is the formula of this compound. All of a sudden it's not so easy to work out the IHD. We're going to follow my method um, because I assume the formula is like all good to use. You're just struggling with memorizing it. So again, we're going to remove the oxygen. Nobody cares about them. I'm going to remove the nitrogens. But for every nitrogen I remove, I'm also going to remove a hydrogen. So actually, I've removed all of the hydrogens in this case. So that means I'm literally just left with C5. And I'm going to think about what saturated alkane that forms. So C5, 2N plus 2. So it should be H12. 
So thinking about how many H2s I would need to add in order to make it saturated, and oh, thank God we get the same answer, <laughs> gives you six. So the IHD in this example is six. Okay, you wanna do one more? Let's do it. Oh, it's not here, it's on the next page. All right, so this is cholesterol. Um, there's no double bond down there, but I'm gonna leave it here so we can see all of it. Um, let's count it up using the structure and see what we should be getting as an answer. So let's count the rings first. You've got one, two, three, four rings in total. Uh, four rings in total. And then we have also got this double bond here. So we should get an answer of five, which is all good. It took me like three seconds. But if I was given this, then I might be panicking a little bit more. So C27, H46, O. Cool. Awesome. So again, we're going to ignore the O's. Nobody cares about the O's. So you've got C27, H46 becomes what? So we're thinking about the saturated alkane. So C27, I'm going to do 2N plus 2. So 27 oh, goes to 54. Four plus two is 56, mental arithmetic, struggling today. So the difference between the two, I'm going to need to add five H2s, and that agrees with my original IHD. So maybe that makes more sense to you, maybe you prefer the formula, um, but hopefully you're feeling a bit more confident with your IHDs now.